Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through the basics of using graphs in CapKey C, using a simple position animation as an example. Graphs are essential for creating smooth animations and by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use them effectively. So let's get started. First, open CapCut and import your background clip. For this tutorial, I'll keep it simple and use a black background from CapCut's built-in library. Feel free to use any background that suits your project. Next, we'll need an icon to animate. I recommend using Flaticon, it's one of the best resources for free icons. I've included the link in the description, so go ahead and visit the site. Once there, search for the icon you want, download it, and import it into CapCut. Once the icon is imported, adjust its size and position on the screen to your liking. We'll use this icon to create a basic position animation. Now let's create the position animation for the icon. Follow these steps. Click on the icon you imported to make sure it's selected. Go to the position properties of the icon. Set a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and drag the icon out of the frame to the side. Move your playhead a few frames forward. Then drag the icon into the frame where you want it to appear. A few frames later, add another keyframe without changing the icon's position. This will make the icon hold still for a moment. Move the playhead towards the end of the clip and drag the icon out of the screen again. This will create a simple in and out movement for the icon. Now, let's get into the main part graphs. Graphs are used to smooth out animations and create more dynamic motion, which is crucial in professional video editing. Right click on the clip. Then select Show Keyframe Animation. This will display the keyframes on the timeline. Select any keyframe on the Y axis, since we used position keyframes. Then right click and choose Graphs. This will open the Graph Editor. For this animation, we'll use the Ease in Graph at the start keyframe and Ease out at the end keyframe. Ease in creates a slower start, while Ease out slows down the ending. You can experiment with other graph types based on your style or animation needs. You can adjust the curves of the graphs to make your animation smoother or more dynamic by clicking and dragging the control points. Repeat these adjustments for all the keyframes in your animation. Play back your animation to see how it looks with the graph adjustments applied. You'll notice that the motion is much smoother compared to the initial keyframe animation. This is the power of using graphs effectively. And that's it for today's tutorial on using graphs for position animations in CapCut PC. Graphs are a crucial tool in creating professional level animations, so make sure to practice using them with different settings. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more advanced animation techniques in future videos. Also, feel free to follow me on social media for updates, guidance, or if you need any help with your video editing projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.